How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Son, and welcome back to another episode of Stellaris, the Koala Conglomerate. Um, I have had suggestions uh, by some of my friends to call it the Koala Coalition, but I like co conglomerate fairly well, so we're going to keep it conglomerate. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. We, there's no reason to change it. Either way, we are back with some more Stellaris. This is a new day, new recording session. Probably not going to record very much. i got to stream in a little bit, actually. Uh, you should go follow me on, on Twitch, by the way. Uh, hashtag self uh, shameless self-promotion. Uh, but no, um... I, do, I am going to probably stream. I do stream, if you didn't know that. But, um, what do we got going on? Let's look at this. So, we got... We got... I, I don't remember a lot of what was happening. We haven't even explored much of our area of space, just because of stuff. Uh, I have messed with my settings on my recording software a little bit, so it should be a little bit less laggy now. The, the resolution may be a little bit worse, so I do apologize for that. But it's to make it so that it's not freezing, you know? You kind of got to balance it. Either way, though, um... We're back playing Solaris. Oh god, I didn't mean to click there. Uh, we're back playing Solaris. Let's let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll go up to fast speed. So, one thing that's been really interesting for me is that there's been actually quite a bit of controversy. I don't know. If it's, it's not even very controversial, but there's been quite a bit of discussion talking about, you know, is Solaris a good game or not? Is it good or is it just decent or is it pretty bad? You know, people have been debating, you know. Is it a good game or is it not a good game? Um, what are they researching? Assist research is really good. Survey data. I mean, sure. Um, either way, people have been like talking about it on the Paradox Plaza subreddit and other places, saying you know it's not really the game is not that good or the game is really good, you know. And I think it's interesting that there's um that there's uh. That there's a I, I think it's interesting. There's differences in opinions, and personally, my opinion I think is better than most people's because I really like Solaris so far. Um, and the thing is, I can also understand why other people don't like it. So I don't know. Um, Desert World. Ooh. Oh yeah, we can settle this, can't we? Um, but yeah, there's it's it's interesting that I think there's quite a bit of variance in what people actually think concerning uh concerning the game because certain people th say criticize the elements that are more grand strategy like warfare and say it's pretty boring i and to a certain extent i haven't really experienced much warfare but i do kind of agree oh we got the one of those artifacts that's really good where is that one out of six lovely um either way we do um the, the game, I think, is better played. I think there's definitely flaws in it. Obviously, it's not a perfect game. Uh, however, the game, I think, is really good at the same time. I think it's, um... I think the the problem a lot of people have is they're playing it like it's EU4. And it's not EU4. I, I wouldn't... I say... I don't think it's a good idea to try to play it like it's EU4. I think it's a good idea to try to play it like it's Civ 5. And I think it, I've played it like it's Civ 5. That's kind of how I've uh, treated the game. And it's been so rewarding that way. I really, really like it. It's been a lot of fun playing it like that. Because I've, um, it's just been a lot, um, uh, it's just been a lot of fun, you know. Because in, in Civ, uh, in Civ 5, it's not really about conquering everything. You can do that. But it's more about, like, the experience and just building up your country in a certain way and enjoying that. And I've kind of played it like that so far in my off-camera games and in this one too. And I really like it that way because you're you're just, uh, you know, you're exploring and you're building up your infrastructure. And you're, it's kind of like a, a tale of your, the emerging story, you could say. Although I kind of don't like that term because I think it's just kind of a, uh, a, a buzzword. But we're definitely going to colonize this place, I think. Do we want to do that now? Why don't yeah? Let's talk about the game for a bit. We should probably talk about what we actually want to do. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's build it just to get it out of the way, and that'll be all of our core systems done, which is nice because then we can not worry about that and just add them to sectors. Which uh, sectors is actually one of the things a lot of people have had, uh, have had issues with. They're like you know sectors are terrible. The AI is terrible with, which um from what I've seen it does seem pretty terrible um. But at the same time, it's I think it's kind of necessary. Defense platform is pretty good, but I, I really want to get working on destroyers. Auto cannons could also be good, though. 
I don't think we're really going to need defense platforms unless we think we're going to get declared on by what, you know, AI. I don't really think that's very likely, although it, it could happen definitely with these guys right here. I want, there's got to be another, another group of people right there. There's got to be. Can't reach anything, can we? That sucks, man. Um, what was I going to say, though? Um, we were just talking about, uh, talking about the game. We should go around and look at, uh, what we can upgrade. We do want to definitely build spaceports in all of these places. Not probably yet, though. I don't think we want to do that until we have, a uh, quite a bit of stuff cleared out. Oh, man, I didn't realize that we had, uh, so much done. Oh, mineral processing plants are very good. Definitely build one there. Definitely upgrade you to a hydroponics farm. Upgrade you to a hydroponics farm. You are migrating to Koala. Why? You're doing just fine there. Come on, buddy. You don't need to do that. Yeah, we'll suppress it. It's not the best. We'll do it. We're going to do that as well. Might as well clear. Yeah, let's we'll go look at some other stuff. Solaria and Broadleaf is our newest one. System survey complete. Okay, that one looks pretty good. Solaria, that one's going to be pretty good. I think we might want to specialize you and put in a hydroponics farm. It sucks that it's gonna suppress that, but I think it's okay. Um, anyways, <clears throat> anyways, though, I think a lot of people have issue take issue with the game because it's um, it's not like EU4 or CK2 or Vicky2 or Hearts of Iron 3, definitely not. Um. It's not like those other games, and I don't know. I think it's a really good game. I really like it. Um, I don't know if I like it as much as EU4, but I really love this game so far from what I've seen. I'm having a great time with it, and I haven't really gotten to the late, late game. So, you know, you can call me, you know, a liar or, or say I don't know what I'm talking about because I haven't gotten that far, and it might be true, but um, I really enjoyed the game. I think it's already definitely worth the, the time I put into it. In fact, let's look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. I have 15 hours in the game. I haven't even felt like I've gotten bored with any of the stuff I've done so uh, I'm not gonna like defend Paradox just because they're Paradox because that's dumb and that's where you start getting people taking advantage of their customer bases and stuff and you know I'm not gonna go into business and stuff because that's not no one really likes talking about that um you know we can bash corporations all day and stuff I'm not gonna protect Paradox just because they're Paradox I love all their games and they're definitely probably like my favorite uh, game producing company development company but I'm not going to defend them just because of their name. Um, I but I will defend the fact that I think this is a great, a greatly, a, a game that's pr done pretty well for what it is. And that's the oh, what is this? The asteroid site. There's an asteroid heading towards our moon. Situation. Our towards Koala, our home planet. Lovely. So, what do we have to do with that? Just are we gonna have to like? That's weird. That must be like some sort of crisis type event. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily. That's it's gonna mix things up definitely. But I think the game. I think this game is great for what it is. I think people just were expecting something different than what it is, and that's part. I think it's partially Paradox's fault because they kind of advertised it as, oh, it's like EU four and meets Civ five. When in reality, it's more like Civ five with some with a dash of EU four uh, here and there. Gosh darn it, you, you, you jerks. Yeah, is that a planet? Yeah, it's not a frontier outpost. Gosh darn, these guys are, these guys are going to be scary, actually. One second. Ah, sorry, I will, um, one second, I need to ruin one of the, nice. I'm recording, it's uh, my friend Wings, uh, I'm recording right now, so I'll message you back later. Um, yeah, if you don't know my friend Wings, he, he also does strategy and stuff. He's really cool. You should check him out. Uh, he's called A Crimson Gamer. I call him Wings for short, but yeah, A Crimson Gamer uh, on YouTube. You can find him on my channel and suggest a channel. He's cool. You should check him out. <laughs> he said sorry. Yeah, no problem. No problem, Wings. Wangs. <laughs> uh, don't tell him I said that. This is a good plan to colonize. It's habitability 80%, which is fairly fairly useful. Um, and 16 max size. It's pretty good. You have all our normal traits. I think we put you right here. 
we're not nowhere are we gonna be able to get four actual resources but this one gets three and they're all pretty good and there's a, a blank spot for more and I've got a blank space baby and I'll write your name okay I'm not gonna do that ever again trust me that was I have terrified myself our science ships aren't doing anything we don't have a lot to build as far as research stations go we don't want to build one there it'll just get wasted when we turn it into a planet um, do we want to we could build a frontier outpost over here I think we destroyed most of the go survey this go survey this go survey that you know start start surveying stuff let's meanwhile look at our fleets they all look pretty good we got kinetic class and De uh, PD defense, point defense class. Okay. Might as well go up to speed 3. But, like, about the whole thing with the game, if you don't like it, that's your choice. And I, I can understand the complaints people have with the game. I personally just think it's a, a great game, and I love it. It fits my play style, I think, and that's one thing. It's not the same for everyone. But, um, if you... If you disagree, that's fine. That's your choice. You know, it's your uh, you have the ability to disagree. And uh, and if you and if you want to talk to me about it, like what what your exact complaints are, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll definitely like you know, I uh, I look forward to seeing other complaints people have because I definitely don't have a, a lot of experience in this game compared to some people. It's the game has been out about a week, and that's a long time. And you know, you could play a whole campaign of this in a week. Um. Either way, it's it's a new game, so uh, there are a lot of issues with it, and I, I definitely see that. Um, I just don't think it's... I don't think it's just the run-of-the-mill that people are saying it is. Lots of people have been saying... The thing I disagree with is people have been saying, you know, it's, like, decent, it's okay, but it's about as good as any other 4X game. Any uh, Compared to other 4X games, I think it's much... It's a, a mark above... Uh, of course, I haven't played that many 4X games. Civ 5 is the one I have the most experience with. But compared to other... What is this? Oh, that's the asteroid! Oh my god. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me with, with me. It was talking about... Oh my god, I didn't realize I could find it on the map. Ah, shiz. Who's gonna die? The, oh my god, is it gonna destroy our whole colony? No. Okay, well, at least it didn't do that, but gosh darn it. Ah, jeez. They want a non aggression pl uh, pledge. Yeah, you know, you know what? I'll take that. I don't really feel like messing with you right now. Might have to eventually, if we wanna grow, grow anywhere. <laughs> um, either way, though, I. I, yeah, I think that the. The game, in terms of a 4X game, I think it's a mark above many others. So, that's the main thing. I, I really think it's a, it's good in terms of just a 4X game. I think it's a really good game. But anyways, that, that has been a mark of controversy and just differing opinions more so. than it's It really hasn't been controversial. I don't think anyone who has bought the game necessarily is demanding a refund because it's a lot different than they were expecting. If you If you are, then... I don't know if I can agree with you on that, although you're entitled to your opinion, but. Have we found any, do we have any observation posts? I don't think we do, yeah, we haven't found any primitives yet, which is interesting. We do have the technology, technology to settle desert worlds, do we not? He heard do. 18, wow, that's pretty good. The habitability is not very good. The planet is decent enough, uh, but if we put it right there, that'd be a pretty good spot. Um, but it's a it's a decent enough uh, decent enough decent enough planet. It's fairly good actually. The only bad thing is that the habitability is so so low relative to some of our other stuff. Um, it's sixty percent, which is still okay, and we we'll, we'll get buildings eventually to. To do that. Oh, I had the game paused. Lovely. That whole time the game was paused. Uh, anomaly. Yeah, you can just do it. 
We all right, we got the border range. Oh yeah, do you see that? Do you see that border range just bump out? Monthly influence is pretty good. Mountain range removal, I think we want to do because that's pretty important. Um, look at that border range just pushed out. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this one in our system. We might though. We might. So it's possible. It's very good that we got that in our system because now we can. Uh, now we can at least go and construct some stuff there. Build the research station, build that. That one will be in our borders soon. That one's in our borders. That one is in our borders. Oh, that one should stay in our borders. I don't think it's ever going to really leave because it's just, it's kind of far enough within our borders. I think it's safe to say that we're going to keep that one. This one will definitely be in our borders eventually. I do, one thing I really like is the fact that the borders kind of merge towards each other. They grow towards each other. They know where their friends are. Asteroid collision. Okay. We didn't actually get it. We found some asteroids collided. Good. Good. Much better. Oh, but man, when do we get to when do we get to go out to these other places? Probably I mean I guess we just have to wait till we can warp better. Other planets will probably maybe interact with us. Another anomaly, wow. High value mining targets. I, if I remember correctly, those weren't anywhere near us, really. Did we have any new technology? We had Sentinel Point Defense, and we have those on here. Yes. We don't have any new armor. Okay, nothing really new to put on our on our ships yet. We are losing credits, which is good, actually. I found that you credits actually aren't as nearly as useful as minerals. Which is pretty obvious, I, I, I would think. Broadleaf is not growing nearly as much as that. Well, that's because of this, yeah. Fair enough. Definitely want to clear that and probably move you there. Or from that impact crater. Is that where it hit us? Ancient Cybrex base. Let's go look at that. Whoa, we need a skill level 5 scientist. I've actually had one of these before. It's actually not that hard to get a, a level. This is in our borders. That's really good. Um, it's not that hard to get a um, a level five scientist, but it takes a lot of like time. I don't know if we'll be able to just because we don't have a lot of stuff to even even do. Oh, we have a assist assist research. That's really good. Deflectors are pretty good. That's just your first you know basic shields. Fusion power is pretty good. Plasma throwers are pretty good. All these are pretty good. They're all like weapon based. So what do we want to do? Deflectors or a fusion reactor? I think we do let's do deflectors. Those are pretty important. Um, what was I gonna do? Ah yes, we have a so we have another science ship. You're gonna only scan that system. After you do that, come back here. And then why don't you come over here and Assist research. There you go. We'll have you do that. Okay. But again, you know, your opinion on the game is based on what you like and what you think is uh, is up with it. So if you don't agree with me, that is there's nothing wrong with that. Broadleaf is the one not growing the most. Eucalyptus. The all my other plants are growing decent amounts. You can be upgraded. We should definitely upgrade you. Probably gonna need to do that anyways. I think we wanna do this as well. We should we need to keep spending our resources. You know, our our resources aren't gonna do us any good if we're not spending them. So the happiness bar, I, I didn't it took me a long time to figure out that this was a happiness bar down there. Longer longer than I'd like to admit. Uh, you know what? We're gonna build a hydroponics farm there. Yes, just cause we need to. This is done. Good. Hydroponics farm, definitely. You're going to go there. Solaria, Eucalyptus. Wow, this is this planet is a lot of stuff to clear. but And you're moving. Two months remaining. I still don't understand that. Jeez. You should definitely do that. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. Yeah. And any second now, this planet will be done. How many more months? Two? Yeah, one more after this one. Let's wait till then, and then we'll probably end this video. But I, I've been having a fantastic time with this game. Um, I do think that, you know, again, you know, Paradox's model is they flesh out lots of stuff in with DLC. But 
It's a questionable model. It's it's one that I kind of like, but many people don't. Um, there's ups and downs to it, definitely. But uh, if you don't agree with it, I can see why. And uh, yeah, I won't hold it against you. So either way, though, it's just it's kind of personal opinion, preference. All right, so Thea has finished. Uh, so again, we already renamed that stuff on there. All right, so what do we got here? I don't remember. This is a good place. Yes, you definitely want to build a hydroponics farm there. Definitely want to build a hydroponics farm there, and that should be the first two priorities. Definitely want to clear this off. Um, I wonder, I, I, I think there might be buildings later on that you can actually do that... Uh, uh, don't suppress other resources possibly? I'm not sure. You're upgrading the spaceport. Why are you moving to Koala? Everyone's moving to Koala, jeez. I, I guess that's okay. If you're gonna move to Koala, it's gonna fill up anyways, and then you just won't be able to. And then, I mean, you know, I guess it doesn't help, it doesn't hurt that our people are moving back to their, you know, the home world. It doesn't necessarily hurt because, uh, after all, it's still, I don't know, it makes it so that our farms on our capital aren't going to be doing stuff. Construction complete. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if we're going to get that one. Probably not. They have a planet there, after all. If you can hear my, my crazy family, that's just them being crazy. They're goofy. Um, so we're getting four, five, seven. We're not getting any science from here. Not any science from there. Not any science from there. That's okay. Early game, you don't get a lot of science from your planets. Uh, either way, we're, we are going to end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. As you can tell, we're doing fairly decent. We might have to build tall to a certain degree because we are going to kind of be trapped between a fairly decent sized empire and a fallen empire, which is massive. So. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video when we'll come back and do some more Solaris stuff. So until then, uh, goodbye.